Welcome back to another episode of The Scram Line. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make these super duper cute kawaii koala macarons. Now, today we're actually going to be using a bit of a different method to make these macarons. You guys have been asking for me to show you how to use the French method macaron recipe and that's what we're going to be making today. Before we get stuck into today's recipe, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon next to it so that YouTube actually notifies you that there's a new video. The first thing we want to do for these macarons is actually make sure that our bowl is super duper clean because any leftover residue like fat or anything like oils and stuff like that your egg whites won't whip up. Now, what we're gonna begin with is by actually cleaning our bowl. And the way we're gonna do that is by using this liquid gold called vinegar. Now, vinegar is great for things around the house like killing weeds, apparently, and cleaning your floors. You're not actually gonna taste the vinegar in this recipe because we're putting it into the bowl, wiping it down really, really well until it's dry. And that way, when we whip our meringues, there's no leftover fat residue in the bowl and they whip up beautifully. So you wanna pull your egg whites into your bowl and you're gonna whip them up to soft peaks. Next, you're gonna add your salt and some cream of tartar, which is gonna help our meringue whip up even better. And you're gonna whip that up as well until everything is well combined, just maybe 30 or 40 seconds. Next, you're going to add your sugar but we're gonna be adding it very, very slowly. So one tablespoon at a time. The reason why we wanna do this is because we wanna introduce the sugar into the meringue slowly, so it has time to dissolve before we add the rest or the next spoon of sugar. Once you've got all of your sugar into your meringue and it's thick and glossy, you're basically ready to move on to the next bit. So the next bit is actually combining the almond flour and the powdered sugar together into a mixing bowl. I like to sift these two ingredients together and then whisk them together to help them combine. We're gonna be adding half of the meringue mixture to our dry ingredients. I'm using a spatula to mix it until it's really well combined. What's great about this recipe as well is that at this stage, you don't have to be too precious about how much you mix these two ingredients together. Once you've mixed your batter and there's no dry ingredients showing, but it's still quite thick, that's the time to stop. You're gonna add a couple tablespoons of the batter into a small mixing bowl. Add some pink food gel and then you're going to fold that until you evenly color your batter and you reach the ribbon stage. So the ribbon stage is when your batter falls off the spatula in a ribbon and disappears back into the batter after about 10 seconds. Once you've reached that stage, you want to stop mixing. Now for the rest of the batter, which we haven't mixed yet, we're gonna add some crushed Oreos and a little bit of black food gel because we want a nice gray color for our koalas. Again, you wanna mix that butter until you reach the ribbon stage. And once you have those two batters ready, add them into a piping bag. The pink one fitted with a very small Wilton number two round tip and the gray butter fitted with a medium sized round tip. Now, what you'll find over on my website is that I've actually created a template for you to make these macarons. So it's gonna, gonna give you a guide of where to pipe so that you end up with nice, consistent koala shapes. You can grab the recipe and the template for free on my website, thescramline.com. We're gonna begin by piping the outside of our koala's ears with the gray batter. I've actually added some more of that gray batter into a piping bag fitted with a small piping tip. Then we're gonna fill the center of that with some pink macaron butter, and we're gonna pipe an oval shape for the rest of the koala face. Once you've piped all of your macarons, gently tap your tray three times, just to let any of the air bubbles rise to the top. We're gonna to let these dry for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna bake them for 10 minutes. Once they're finished baking, let them cool down completely before you try taking them off the tray. Now guys, if you find that your macarons are sticking 
to your baking tray, I've actually found a trick is to actually freeze them for about two hours. They freeze and then it's really easy to take them off the baking tray, the baking paper or silicon mat. And once you let them defrost completely, they sweat a little bit, but then once they've defrosted completely, they're back to beautiful, normal macarons. Now to decorate the rest of these macarons, we are gonna be using some royal icing. Royal icing is really easy to make. You add some egg whites. So I'm using pasteurized egg whites, which are safe to eat raw, and some powdered sugar into a large mixing bowl. We're gonna mix that using an electric hand mixer until everything is well combined. We're gonna be splitting our royal icing into two bowls. One of it is going to be coloured with black food gel and the other one with some pink food gel. We're going to be using the black food gel uh, in a piping bag fitted with a very small round tip to pipe the eyes, the nose and then the pink royal icing is going to be for the little rosy cheeks. I've got some Oreo flavoured Swiss meringue buttercream frosting here that I've prepared. We're going to fill our macarons with it and then sandwich them with another macaron to finish. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line.